sunshines welcome to the channel and welcome to another video i am so glad you're here and heidi ho for mr milo as usual he's going to do what he does best hang out in the background take his afternoon cat nap and kind of listen in as we chit chat so for today's video i have a new to the channel subscription box to share with you i'm pretty excited about it is called the literary book club online it says this is a subscription box for old souls and romantics which kind of sounds poetic and interesting this is a quarterly subscription box i love quarterly subscription boxes only hit your credit card four times a year it's sort of like a gift to yourself every quarter so you are going to get a classic book in a collectible edition so like a really pretty one which is a fun way to build a library that you're sort of going to cherish and then you're going to get things that are curated thoughtfully to go with the book now what's cool about those are everything is individually wrapped with a number so say you get to page 17 in the book and there's a box marked 17 you get to open that little gift on that day it's supposed to correlate so say maybe the ladies on page 17 are having tea in their ball gowns um, this is right up my alley then maybe you'll get a pack of really cool tea or maybe a little box of shortbread cookies or something that's what I'm guessing at least I'm really excited to open it and check it out so that's what we're gonna do this box is $74.99 there is a wait list to get this box but I do have a discount code for five dollars so if you jump on the wait list make sure you use that discount code that's going to save you a little bit of money and as always if you like what you see please consider hitting that subscription button and giving this video a thumbs up so it looks just like this I think my yeah my shipping label was on the bottom here so it shipped mm -hmm. like this which I love to read. I'm a big reader, but I will admit, sadly, that I don't read enough of the classics. So this is a great way to kind of integrate that in. And I also like that it's quarterly because if you're not a big reader, usually you can read a book in a quarter and then, you know, your next box will come. All right. So when you open it up, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is a quote from Jane Austen. I wonder if this is a Jane Austen book. It says, I shall be miserable if I have not an excellent library. <laughs> and then it's got the wax seal. Oh my goodness. All right, let's open it and see what this is all about. I think a wax seal. We got to bring back the wax seals. They're so fun. Oh, the tenant of Wild Fell Hall. Okay, so this is what it looks like. When Helen Graham takes the tenancy of Wildfell Hall, she incites passion and rumor among the local community. Of course she does. Helen's secrets are slowly revealed, the flight from a brutish, dissolute husband and a determination that her son should not follow his example. Regarded as a milestone of feminist literature, the tenet of Wildfell Hall challenged Victorian standards when it was published in 1848. It says, P.S. The list of items in your box is at the bottom of the box. Do not read until you've opened all of your gifts to keep the surprise alive well i have to because i'm unboxing it so just fyi this is a little bit of a spoiler i'm going to dive down to the bottom and i'm going to show you oh i don't think that's it hold on that's something that goes in the box oh deep. dive a little deeper here let's see okay so this is going to show us everything that's in the box all right so we're just going to start in the order that they're in the box and this is how they're wrapped isn't that pretty says page 50. Let's see what's inside. Ooh, oh, okay. 24 premium watercolor paints. So there must be a painter. Look how pretty in this box. It's a gorgeous palette. Oh, beautiful. Let me open these and let's just take a peek inside just to make sure they're not like all plasticky and janky because sometimes you know you'll get something really beautiful with beautiful packaging but then inside you're like wah wah. Let's make sure we're not going to get a wah wah moment as I try not to cut myself. So instead of using my scissors which I was about to cut myself I grabbed my uh, box cutter here. So it is a beautiful metal palette. It's got the little loop so you can hold it so you're not dropping it if you're standing and painting. 
Ooh, okay, we've got some paperwork in here. <gasps> Look at those. That is beautiful. There's even a gorgeous brush in here. Okay, that is not janky, that is beautiful. Okay, that was just one of the items in the box. So that was page 50. I'm gonna have to put everything back so I can reopen it when I go to read the book. Okay, this doesn't have a page number on it. It just has a little flower. That might be a little extra. Oh, so we have a bookmark, which is perfect. It says, there's nothing like an active employment. I suppose to console the afflicted. And this is by Anne Bronte. All right. Look at this. Okay, I like how they're all differently wrapped. We have this little bag with butterflies on it. This is page 61. So between page 50 and 61, you don't have to wait too long for your next little gift. Oh, this is a mug. Ooh. Ooh, this is cool. You know how you can do the mug cakes? This is a muffin. It's an apple caramel cinnamon mug cake. Yum. So you can have a little snack while you're eating your, while you're reading your book. I like that. All right, then we have this guy, this little brown satin bag. This is page 271. We have two, are these shower steamers? Yes, I think that's what these are. And they smell good, Oh, Oh, they smell good, they're like minty. So we have two of them. We'll read the list at the end of everything that's in here. Okay, so just so I can verify. We have a birthday cake soft baked cookie. I don't know if that fell out of a bag. I don't see a bag, but two snacks. You know, the snacks are the way to my heart. Okay. While you read, there must be butterflies all around in this book because I'm seeing a theme with the packaging. I've never read that one, have you? The, the Tenant of Welfare, now I don't remember. Okay, this is a lemon balm tea. The Tenant of Wild Wildfare. Okay, it looks like we have one more gift in here. I would rather have your friendship than the love of any other woman in the world. Anne Bronte. And oh, these are watercolor cards. Oh, and the artist's name that makes the cards is Christy, spelled the same way that mine is, K-R-I-S-T-Y. I love it. So these are little watercolor cards that you can do postcards with. Are they sealed? Yeah, they are. These are the cards, so you can paint them. Oh, I like that they sort of give you a template and then you can paint around here and then this is where you write. Oh, I like these. I like that they're not just blank and then they have the creamiest, dreamiest envelopes. I don't think it's showing in the camera, but they're really like slinky. The paper's beautiful. They're creamy colored, gorgeous. Okay, so we got that guy. And then let's look at our book. Oh, it is pretty. Oh, look, the gold pages. The Tenant of Wildfell Hall. Wildfell Hall. And you see all the pretty um, stickers that were on each of the gifts that kind of match. That is beautiful. Oh, wow. This is a beautiful addition with the gold. It's heavy. How many pages are on here? 530, 28 pages, 528 pages. Isn't that beautiful on a bookshelf? That's like show worthy, even on a coffee table or something. So let's look at our little card here. There aren't any values for any of the items in the box. It says that we got a swag bag with a sticker, a bookmark and a book plate. I saw the bookmark. Hold on. <laughs> Y'all, I get so excited sometimes that I miss things. 
Now I didn't pull out everything that was in this cutie patootie bag. So there is a little quote here. It says, if she were more perfect, she would be less interesting. Oh, I need to give that quote to my husband. That's hysterical. And it's by Anne Bronte who wrote the book. Okay, and then we've got the little book plate, which is beautiful. You can just, um, it's like a sticker. You stick it to the inside of your book, the cover, and you can put this book belongs to Christy Smith, or that is a beautiful addition. If you have somebody in your life that loves to read that you think might love this, this would be a beautiful gift. And you could just put a little note to them inside the book. I want to keep this, but it is so beautiful. Okay, and then we got an eight by 10 art print. You know what, when I was digging down to the bottom to find this, I pulled something out and I never went back to it. So it says, if she were more perfect, she would be less interesting. So it's the same quote that's on the sticker and you can frame this or you know put it anywhere you want. I need to frame this somewhere where my husband's gonna see it because I think he's gonna think that is hysterical. Okay, then we got the Happy Tea, which is lemon balm, which sounds lovely. We got the Deluxe Watercolor Paint Set, the Caramel Apple Cinnamon Mug Muffin Mix, which that sounds delicious. 90 seconds and you're ready to go. What do you have to add to this? Does it say, usually you have to add like a little bit of water or something. Mix into a mug, add three tablespoons of water. That's it. There you go. Um, and then we have the Artisan Rose Shower Steamers as well as the DIY Watercolor Postcard Set and then the book. This was fun. I really like this. It's gonna get me reading the classics, which I definitely need to be doing in this edition. Look how pretty. It's just so pretty, isn't it? I love it. All right, so that was my book. If you wanna get on the wait list, you can use my discount code for $5 off. Thank you to Literary Book Club for sending that over. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon for another one, guys. Bye-bye.